product. We are picking up a debris signature with this tornado. So, I mean, it's been on the ground long enough. It's gone through enough populated areas where there's no doubt uh, damage uh, is, is, is imminent with this storm. Absolutely. I'm not surprised one bit that we are depicting debris out of this. I mean, as we mentioned, trees, farm equipment, uh, it's very going to pick up all sorts of things, and I can certainly see that right now within the radar. Also want to just touch base on uh, not only this storm, but also any more storms that happen to develop, which we are beginning to see now, more storms develop just southwest of the Oklahoma City metro. There will be be enough rotation within the storms that we may be seeing more tornado warnings coming momentarily. So we continue to watch this very close. And again, uh, we are not here to scare you. We never want to scare you, but we want to make sure that we are hitting the message hard that you are aware of how serious this situation is. You know that we are not the meteorologists here that will try to uh, uh, give you any type of false warning here, but we want to make sure that when we do see something very serious, that we want to make sure that our tone is reflected within that. So we are hitting this message very hard that this is a very serious, serious tornado now within minutes away of the town of Kearney here. This tornado is quickly moving to the northeast here, and it is likely going to impact those of us within the town of Kearney here. And again, here's it looks like this is going to be a county road right here. Uh, and again, this is where the tornado is. This is going to be highway, uh, I believe it's going to be one 77. Highway 177 runs right through here. Large hail, baseball size hail right here. And then this is going to be the tornado right here. And more than likely, we are depicting what appears to be a debris ball within this as we are now picking up more uh, more data with this storm. Uh, it looks like trees are getting wrapped up in all sorts of things within this tornado. As we were talking to Chad Bradley earlier, he was saying large wedge tornado with this storm. And again, this continues now basically be right, uh, right over Kearney. Yeah, it absolutely does, Damon. It has a weak echo region. That's basically where we see a void in the radar, and that's where the rotation actually is. You only get that on radar on the higher-end tornadoes. This is what we call our, our F5 mode on Doppler HD. It's the finest mode we can go down to. It lets us pick up the highest velocities. Uh, only the F5 that went through Piedmont a couple of years ago have I seen a signature like this on Doppler HD. This is a large, violent high-end tornado that is crossing Kearney right now. And again, when you when you see that void, basically you don't see anything on the radar right over 177. That's just an indication of how strong the circulation is. Damon, if we're lucky, the circulation will pass Kearney literally just to the south. I, I tell you what, it's way too close for comfort. This storm, way too close for comfort. Again, if you're living in the community of Kearney right now, you have a very large tornado Within your community limits or just south of the community here, this is a storm. It is still tightening up here. As we've been getting many, many reports here, the uh, tornado here has been substantial. And even the amount of uh, rotation that I'm seeing here on the radar is the highest that I have seen it all day long. I haven't seen rotation this tight with this storm until now. So this storm continues to strengthen. And as we were mentioning, once it moved east of I-35, this storm was going to be in an environment that was going to be more favorable for tornadoes to develop here. So this right here is a very, very large tornado. Chris Lee, go ahead. Yeah, we are uh, about three miles north of the turnpike on uh, Highway 177. We are uh, south of Carney. We've just seen uh, what appears to be the trail, it is, there is rain between us and the trail, so it's a little hard to define, but it appears to have crossed 177 uh, to the south of Kearney, just a couple miles to our north. Uh, we are watching, but uh, what we saw earlier, a very large, violent tornado uh, doing damage, there is no doubt. Uh, there's there's to be a path of damage just from what we saw earlier. We're about uh, four miles south of Kearney. I'm estimating it crossed about two miles to our north uh, on uh, 177. Still trying to keep up with it. Uh, with some of these roads, it's a little difficult. But uh, a very large tornado coming across uh, Lincoln County, fortunately going well north of the town of Chandler. Absolutely, yeah. But this storm is, uh, again, the rotation within this. We, I have seen the tornado. So Kearney, you need to, again, we've been saying it now, you have 
got to be below ground right now. You've got to be in your tornado shelter. This tornado is moving within the city limits right now, the community limits of Kearney right now. You need to get below ground. This tornado is very, very large. It is packing a lot of winds, and there is a lot of debris being thrown within this storm right here. And again, uh, I, I, I don't say this want to scare you, but again, you know us, okay? We are not going to... Uh, let our tone uh, be more than what is necessary. But the tone that we are using right now is that we need you in Kearney, Tryon, Agra, even the community of Kendrick. You need to be in your storm shelter right now with this storm. As again, it is moving to the east at 30 miles per hour right now. Again, this is a very very dangerous storm with this right now. Uh, we go back over to Advantage Doppler 3D so we can put on a storm track here. These are going to be communities. So Agra 538, Wild Horse 547, South Village at 606 here, and then Shamrock at 613. And just looking downstream, all right, if the storm moves in this direction, you can see other towns that are going to be awfully close to this. We're talking about places like Cushing, all right, here's Kendrick right here, uh, it looks like Parkland. Avery. So this storm continues in this path here. This is going to be the Turner Turnpike. We're north of the Turner Turnpike. Then again, this is going to be a storm that you have got to, got to take very, very seriously. All right, Sky 5. Here we go. Let's go to Sky 5 right now. And looking at the storm there, you can see it off in the distance. And we are, yeah, that is a tornado right there. All right, you, wow, look how large that tornado is. All right, let's go pull up Sky 5. Huge. Okay, let's go Sky 5 here so we can see how big this tornado is. Uh, let's go Sky 5. And uh, there we go right there. There's a tornado right there. Look how large that tornado is right there. Look at that circulation. That is now likely moving just east of the town of Kearney, and again, it looks like, yeah, that, there's a tornado right there, all right, you can see, uh, all right, you can see it looks like probably right within here, uh, if we could actually pull out a little bit, because uh, if we can go ahead and, and get Sky Fi to pull out that shot just a little bit so I can see it, there we go, all right, so yeah, there's a tornado right there, this is now going to be east of Kearney, and as we pull up some uh, some information here, let's see here, it looks like, uh, yeah, we've, we've certainly got uh, enough rotation right there and even now looking east of the town of Kearney if I'm living in Tryon Agra if I am now east of highway 177 living along state highway 18 now south of Tryon you're the next in this path right here and look at all that right there I mean that is phenomenal phenomenal right there you can see all that rotation right there you can see it right there so now we are going now east of Kearney here and again this is going to be some rather rural land but there's certainly quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, trees in there so we're going to pick up trees within that and it appears that this might be going through a circulation phase right there but there's still enough right there you can see look at that that's debris that is debris right there you can clearly see it so we have debris being just thrown up into the air right here. So we're getting debris. It looks like the tornado It is still there. It looks like it's going through a phase here. You can see this whole cloud right here is just circulating like crazy here. So this has got some impressive, some impressive circulation. That is all debris right there. What's in that? There's no telling. All right, we're probably talking about, again, trees, farm equipment. We have no idea. But again, you can see there's lots of debris within that. And it looks like, once again, we continue to see now those of us now east of Kearney, those of us in the community of Tryon, Agra, right along Route 105, State Highway 18. Those are going to be the next in the line of this storm here. So we continue to track this very serious serious situation here with this tornado warning. If you've been watching this, this tornado formed right along uh, Highway 35, I-35, just east of Edmond there. Uh, we had this tornado warning that was going on. It finally produced a tornado east of I-35, and it has been ongoing ever since. And it looks like... Uh, all right, here we are right here. You can see there is going to be the circulation right there in this storm. This whole storm is circulating. It's circulating in a big way, although I have noticed... I'm looking at my velocity fields here. While certainly uh, the, the velocity is certainly pretty tight, uh, it looks like there's all sorts of, uh, let's see, you're certain getting all sorts of information coming in. At least the rotation may have come down just a little bit, but not enough that we're out of the clear with this. We are still well deep into this tornado warning, and there it is 
right there. So this tornado warning continues. And as we were looking at all the data before even today started, we knew that there was going to be one or two very strong tornadoes. This is it. This has been living now for about uh, an hour and a half now. So this has been a very strong tornado moving to the northeast, east of I-35, and right along the Turner Turnpike. That was going to be the prime area where we had enough rotation, enough wind shear, plenty of instability to see this tornado right here. So again, if you're now living in the town of Tryon, Agra, uh, north of Kendrick, you are well within uh, location to uh, with this tornado warning that you need to be taking serious tornado uh, precautions now going into your tornado shelter. Brad, go ahead. And I want to let folks uh, know at home that we've partnered with uh, OU and Norman. They've their Doppler on wheels with this storm that is south of Kearney now moving towards the east and northeast. Uh, we're going to get them on the phone here in just a second and talk to uh, OU about what they're seeing with this storm, but uh, they're they're sampling the air as well, and uh, they've got this, this powerful storm, Damon, that continues to march east. Absolutely. Rusty, go ahead. Well, Damon, looking at it on both velocity and reflectivity, it looks like it's cycling. I'm, it I'm not seeing the hook now that uh, was present earlier. I'm still seeing tight rotation, but it's just not as defined as it was. I mean, obviously, pictures tell the story, and when you look Look at Sky Five right now. You see a lot of appendages hanging down, but you don't really, you don't really. See much. I can say this though: there's still a lot of wind, Damon. Mm -hmm. uh, this is still going to be producing some extremely strong winds just south of Tryon. There's a little community called Anderson that's northeast of Kearney that is taking the brunt of those winds right now. All right, uh, Efren, we have you live right now on the KOCO airwaves. Uh, you are with Doppler on wheels. Uh, what have you all been picking out of this storm? Okay, Damon, we're here with the OU Smart R radars. Uh, we are right now, one radar is four and a half miles east and seven south of Wellston. We have a second radar setting up for dual polymetric radar imaging about around Stroud. Right now, we are seeing that our velocities are roughly exceeding 38, 39 meters per second. Right. We're talking about 115 mile an hour minimum. We have a very pronounced donut from the low and mid-level reflectivity. And as of right now, Rusty is right. It looks like it may be slightly cycling, but the wind profile is absolutely impressive. And on radar alone, this thing is a monster, Damon. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely, Efren and Efren. And we're going to talk to you with this storm as it continues to move up to the northeast, and we're going to continue to get information from you with this storm. Uh, you guys are doing a phenomenal job on that. So, that is the tornado warning and, of course, a very serious situation. Do want to go back and at least uh, give the heads up. From Moore to Norman, we have a severe thunderstorm warning, and this storm is now, looks like we're getting about lime to tennis ball size hail now just east of the H.E. Bailey, and that storm is moving to the east. So those of us from living in Norman to Moore, there is a severe thunderstorm that is just west of you and that too will be moving into an area that will likely have the potential for this storm to strengthen even more so so we're still seeing severe storms popping up within the oklahoma city metro all right we are getting ready to get a tornado warning now for norman a tornado warning is now getting ready to come out now for tornado uh, for norman this will include cleveland county uh, again, so tornado warning now coming in, and we now have a tornado warning for Cleveland and McLean County. It looks like this storm uh, will be more than likely the, uh, the amount of circulation with this will be just south of Newcastle, southeast of Newcastle. So we now have a tornado warning that does include more. It does include this northern tier, uh, northern part of this warning does include more south to Norman, and in to Newcastle. So here we go right here. We can go ahead and put up. Here's the tornado warning right here. You can see this runs right through Moore. Here is Norman. Here is Newcastle. This is in effect until 545. This is the early stages right now of this uh, of this storm. So this is still Doppler radar indicated. Still Doppler radar indicated tornado warning for Moore. I'm pretty sure we're going to be hearing the sirens going off pretty soon. If they haven't already, and Moore to Norman here, so we're looking at the circulation more than likely going to be right within here, so this is going to be now east of State Highway 277 this is going to be east of Newcastle again, this is a Doppler radar indicated tornado warning over to Advantage Doppler 
HD. Let's go over to Advantage Doppler HD. Here we go right here. All right, so this is going to be uh, the tornado warning. So here's Newcastle. All right, this is going to be the circulation that we're finding right within here. Okay, so this is going to be I-35. We are on the west side of I-35 here with this storm here, but still nonetheless, certainly quite a bit of a velocity. Rusty, you're looking at the velocity right now. I'm going to ping it up here on my radar. Sure. What are you seeing? Well, Damon, uh, it's still it's still broad, uh, just like the first one was in northwest Oklahoma City. Then once it right turned and it tightened up, that's when the tornado was produced. So right now, I don't see anything on velocity that is indicative of an actual tornado on the ground. But let me say this. This could be headed right through the center of Norman. Okay, this could be headed just straight down Main Street in Norman. If you live in Norman, you, you cannot take this lightly, nope. Damon. Uh, this this could be headed right towards the, the heavily populated area. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So go ahead. If you're in Norman, okay, Doppler radar indicated tornado warning, but as all the storms begin, they begin in a phase like this, and with all of the uh, atmospheric instability, this storm could quickly become a storm just like what we saw and what we're seeing right now up to northeast. Chad Bradley, we have you on the phone right now. What are you seeing? Uh, Chad Bradley. Damon, what, yeah, Damon, we're about four miles north of Chandler, uh, working our way back north just a little ways so we can get a better view. Uh, if we if we have a tornado on the ground, um, it's going to be rain wrapped. I'm seeing just what appears to be possible silhouette of the edge where, you know, this is tough uh, chasing country, as you well, are aware, well aware, you know, anywhere east of High 35 when we get into the trees and the, and the brush, it's really hard to, to maintain good visual observation. And obviously we have to continue to reposition ourselves to stay ahead of the storm. Uh, there was on the, kind of on the back side of what I would think where the main circulation would be, we actually had a spread few minutes ago, produced a brief fall cloud. Uh, could not tell whether or not it actually reached the ground or not, uh, but it, it looks like it was kind of to the south of the, the main area of circulation. Uh, it is since lifted, and uh, again, we're, we're looking back north, and, and if there is something on the ground, Damon, it is, it is totally rain-wrapped, and uh, we are unable to uh, really make visual confirmation at this point. Yeah, Chad, Chad you're exactly right. As I look at the uh, radar products right now, any tornado within there is going to be completely rain wrapped. All right, hey, uh, tell, let's go, go back over. Tell Jimmy to uh, take a shot and go back over right there. All right, uh, this is going to be right along I-35 here. Uh, this is going to be near uh, the Riverwind Casino, I do believe. So this is just west of Norman, and this is going to be the tornado warning that we're talking about right here. Jimmy Taylor, we have you live right now. Uh, what exactly are you seeing? Well, right now we're at Highway 9 and I-35 facing towards the northwest. It just looks like it's just west of I-35 and just a little bit north of Lindsay. We've been following this since when it started just southeast of Newcastle. We've hit some golf ball size hell and everything else like that in this big degree. It keeps going up, cycling back down. This is the lowest we've hit so far in the last 15, 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, again, for those of you who uh, are familiar with uh, Cleveland County, this is going to be right along the Canadian River, right by the Riverwind Casino, and that's where right now we are picking up a lot of our circulation right now. This is on the west side of I-35 here, so we're talking right now down around Norman, but again, this is a Doppler radar indicated tornado warning, all right? We're still watching this rotation right here, and it looks like that is going to be the highway that is right here that you can see the cars moving there. So, uh, Jimmy Taylor, he's in perfect location. We're going to watch this right here, and again, this is the early stages of the storm, all right? So, we don't have this tornado uh, on the ground yet, but again, this is a Doppler radar indicated tornado warning. So we're watching now two tornado warnings, all right? We have this one for southern parts of Cleveland County, and then we have another tornado warning, and again, that is in northeastern parts of Lincoln County, but this looks to be the next storm that is now in the development stages, and while the velocity certainly is, uh, certainly is going to be on the... Uh, uh, on the broad side, is trying to tighten up. Also, we do want to emphasize, and we are now getting reports that there are a lot of people that are getting under the underpasses on I-35, and I-35 is now getting clogged very quickly. All right, we're getting some large hail reports at Indian Hills and I-35, so that is going to be just south 
of Moore, uh, and, and just south of, of Moore there. Sirens are going off, but we want to make sure that everyone knows do not stop on the underpasses there and Norman, or on the I-35, from Norman to Moore there as this hail is coming down. That is going to lead to a very dangerous situation as these cars are trying to drive up and down the highway. So do not stop on the underpasses there. Once again, all right, so we are... Uh, we are still seeing two tornado warnings. Rusty, what are you noticing here? Damon, uh, if we go to a Doppler HD, I mean, well, stay on that shot, guys. It's such a good shot. I'll just let everyone know the, the strongest circulation I see has just crossed Highway 9 on the west side of the river, all right, so uh, near Santa Fe Avenue. But this will be crossed. This is just west of I-35, okay, so it'll be crossing... I-35 shortly. I mean, that, that's Jimmy's shot, as you see right there. Uh, very significant. Um, it has gotten a little bit tighter. The winds are picking up within this. It's still not very tight, but this is exactly what the tornado warning in northern Oklahoma County looked like before it became a tornado. I can tell you this right now. There are ping-pong ball-sized hail reports coming out of this. Some of them south of this circulation, some of them north uh, near the airport in Norman. Uh, we're getting some ping-pong ball-sized hail. Like you said, Damon, seeing that the same report of people stopping on I-35 as the worst thing that you can do at this point in time. Absolutely, yeah. So once again, we have two tornado warnings, and it looks like this tornado that is up in the northeastern parts of Lincoln County, north of Chandler, north of the Turner Turnpike, that does look rain-wrapped still. All right, so that is going to be a rain-wrapped tornado now that is moving up into northeastern parts of Lincoln County. Our second tornado warning, still in the early stages, that is now in going into uh, southern parts of Cleveland County, uh, that is producing some very large large hail. It looks like some large hail falling right down uh, I-35 Indian Hills Road, uh, and also some large hail now being reported just west of I-35 as well, right down near the Riverwind Casino, and we are now getting uh, this hail looks like it's now starting to go on the north side of the Canadian River. So we continue to now monitor two severe storms uh, and two very significant storms. Again, two tornado warnings. Uh, and it looks like we're probably going to see a reissuance of this tornado warning up in uh, northeastern parts of uh, Lincoln County. That will probably include Payne County and western parts of Creek County. And then tornado warning uh, continues for those of us in southern Cleveland County. And that is going to, here we go, here's a new tornado warning. That is going to go, the Cleveland County tornado warning will stay in effect until 545. It's another 15 minutes. Here's a storm track on here for you. All right, here is going to be downtown Moore, but the circulation right here puts in the Norman in about 11 minutes. That's downtown Norman, so 541. Uh, talks about also, and uh, that will include uh, University of Oklahoma, Franklin at 547, Denver there at 6, Lake Thunderbird at 602, Little Axe at 608, Stella 615, Woods 617, and Pink at 621. If I just listed anyone that lives within these communities or near these communities, you do need to move into your safe room. Go into there as we are now beginning to see this tornado warning beginning to wrap up, and it may very well turn into uh, another strong tornado that we uh, that we just tracked into Lincoln County as well. So it looks like both of them could be similar. We're watching it closely. Kim Passoff, we have you live on the phone right now. Uh, where are you and what are you seeing? Damon, we're just a little bit south of Kearney, and the tornado clearly came through here. I'm looking at a house right now that has been torn up by this tornado. A tree has been uprooted. Power poles in this area are down. It's very clear that the tornado just came through this area. Uh, a lot of traffic, we've seen emergency responders going into town. We are just south of town right now. Um, it looks like everyone is out of the house that was hit. It pretty much looks totaled at this point, uh, but everybody is out. There were first responders going into the house when we first got here. They have exited now, but the house is totaled, but I do believe that everybody got out safely out of this particular home definitely clear that this was a very powerful tornado. There is a large tree, probably about 50 feet tall, that was uprooted and is laying on its side. And as I said, the power poles uh, in this area have been snapped in half. It's yeah. obviously a lot of destruction from this tornado. That is, um, now we're just looking at this damage firsthand here, and I am seeing, uh, this looks phenomenal. I mean, if, if that looks like uh, the roof of a house right there, is that a slab? Right there, if that is a slab, that was completely removed there. Look at all this debris. This is in Kearney. Look at all this debris just flung up into the trees here. Uh, I, I'm not recognizing much here. Uh, looks like some serious damage. Look at the roof there off that tree. Look at these trees that were just snapped like like toothpicks right here. Uh, some trees, some house damage right there. Um, you know, this is... 
that was a serious, serious storm. Uh, this is some phenomenal damage coming in right now from Carney right there. So, yeah, wow. Um, uh, you just you, you pray that everyone survived this right here. But that is that is some phenomenal damage right there. Rusty, go ahead. Well, Damon, I mean, this confirms what I saw on the radar. This is EF4, possible EF5 damage. When you're looking at that homes that were reduced to the slab, as we just saw, you're looking at winds that could have been around 200 miles an hour. It's, it's what Doppler HD showed. Uh, there's part of a roof that just completely gone. It looks like that's more of a, of a business with aluminum uh, on the siding there. But, uh, you know, that home was completely destroyed. I'm going to say this. This tornado is still significant. It is still still uh, a tornado warning on it and this thing is headed towards the Cushing and Drum Ride areas uh, of Payne County uh, and then on the western sides of Creek County so I mean you look at that damage Damon it, just a tremendous tornado real quickly on the Norman tornado I have not seen that circulation tighten up as uh, very tightly but this is now crossing I-35 mm -hmm. you see the stream on the right hand side right now going to have to keep a real close eye downtown Norman including the University of Oklahoma Absolutely, yeah. So uh, you can see the damage on the right. This is the damage that came in from Lincoln County there. That was a tornado that went through Kearney. Unbelievable. And then we're really focusing our attention right now on what's going on right now in Norman. And looking at the right-hand side there, you can see that's Jimmy Taylor, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Stream right there. And that looks like he is certainly having what appears to be a, a wall cloud that's coming down here. If we can go full jimmy shot and put this on the right hand side here because i want to focus on what's moving into norman and that appears to be a wall cloud that is beginning to uh beginning to develop here so we are getting uh, uh we are continuing to see this rotation moving right over i-35 here it looks like we're probably going to see a uh, little many areas of uh, circulation here but it looks like uh, right now the main circulation is near i-35 and the main street exit uh, and then it looks like we're also getting some more circulation that is just west of the Riverwind Casino. Jimmy, we have you live right now. That looks like a wall cloud that's forming right in front of you. Yes, it, yeah, it is. Yes, it is, Damon. It, it's right here. It, we are right on I-35, just south of the Canadian River Bridge. It is, it's just west of the uh, I-35, and it looks like it's just north of Lindsay. So anybody in that path right there should be in their tornado shelters by now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So we continue to watch this again. We are just looking in that, down in Norman right now. And again, this is a uh, this tornado has not touched the ground yet, but this is how all tornadoes begin right here. So you can see there is a lowering, all right? This is going to be right along I-35 there. So you can see that is going to be the circulation right there. And uh, these tornado warnings, we still have two tornado warnings, all right? We have the one that is going to be up to the northwest of Oklahoma City. And then we have this right here. That is going to be right around Norman, right within the city limits of Norman, I should be saying. And you can see we're still watching this very closely, but you can see that lowering right there looks very much like what we had earlier with this first storm. So, uh, yeah, this is still a very, very serious storm in Norman, even though the tornado has not dropped yet still watching it pretty closely you are watching koco 5 news now at 5 30 and our big weather story right now continues to be these tornado warnings and these destructive storms that are moving through oklahoma right now what you see on the right hand side of your television screen there that is damage from a significant a very strong tornado that moved through the town of Kearney. that is in lincoln county there and you can just see all of the debris that is within that storm that was within that storm that basically just uh certainly just took out everything within its path there that is that was certainly a very significant tornado and then you're seeing this right here this is a tornado warning this is for norman and this is going to be a wall cloud that is getting into its formation stages here with this storm right here so we are tracking two tornado warnings right now all right cleveland county and Lincoln County. Rusty, what do you have? Damon, I, I want to say this. The storm that's up north headed into Payne County, it is still significant. I was around 6.05. The velocity still looks good on it. The winds may have come down a little bit from its most intense circulation, uh, but it is still a very powerful long track supercell with a tornado. On to the Norman storm. As you look at Jimmy Taylor's uh, stream, it looks like I'm beginning to see it tighten up a little yep. bit just north of Southeast 32nd Street. That is north of State Highway 9 to the southeast of newcastle uh, that's where i see the strongest circulation at the present time so this is going to be now uh 
let's see here, south of Moore, all right, Norman right along I-35. And again, that that lowering is, is continuing right there. And again, this is a uh, tornado has not touched the ground yet, but if you're living in Norman, you better quickly get ready to go into your tornado shelter when this when this thing does uh, does get into its serious mode here. And it's pretty it's getting pretty serious now. So if you're not in your shelter yet, you should be getting awfully close to going into your shelter. Uh, you can actually take your smartphone with you. We have a KOCO5 tornado app. You can watch our streaming coverage while you are in your shelter there. But again, this is our next serious situation right here with this wall cloud right there norman you can see there's going to be i-35 and uh it looks like right now uh this storm continues to get better organized with its rotation and uh it looks like i'm, I'm picking up multiple areas of circulation one that is going to be just around norman and then another one that's going to be northwest of noble east of goldsby looks like uh we're continuing to see what this velocity right now looks like it looks a lot like the velocity that we had over edmund earlier when it was rather broad and then it started to tighten up there so we're looking right here into this circulation uh within this storm this is our uh, next tornado warning but we still have a very serious situation ongoing up to northeast it looks like they did extend that tornado warning uh, now that goes into Creek County. So we did extend that tornado warning into Creek County. Uh, if you're living within Cushing right now, Cushing, uh, you need to be going into your safe room, into your storm shelter immediately. Again, that storm getting awfully close to Cushing. It is just southwest moving up to the northeast. And again, that does put Cushing, Drumright, Oilton, Shamrock, you were all in play with this tornado warning that, again, is up to the northwest of Oklahoma City here. Rusty, have you noticed anything there with uh, within these storms that uh, is, is causing concern? Well, Damon, I mean, obviously, I, I agree with exactly what you just said. There are several areas of rotation on the south side of this. This looks exactly like the storm that went through northern Oklahoma County. We were watching it for 45 minutes. Uh, it was slow to gather, and then once it started turning right, the circulation just really intensified. There is strong winds going across I-35 on the southern sides of Norman right now. Uh, as I track from the center of circulation, I have Norman, the downtown area, at around 552 in the Franklin at 605, Little Axe at 615. I have not seen the rotation tighten any with this particular storm yet, but there are multiple areas uh, of, of circulation, and as you can see, Jimmy Taylor is following that lowering right now, but again, do not put your guard down in the Norman area. You have to be in your tornado shelter. Still also tracking the northern storm. That storm is still very dangerous. Moving to southeast Payne County, newest information, Damon, out of Newcastle, Gulf ball hail being currently reported so uh, this is also producing some damaging hail on the northern side some large hail and we just had a brand new tornado warning that was just just issued uh, and again this is going to be until 6 15 now this is for cleveland and mclean county again this storm uh, we have our crews on it all right this is still doppler radar indicated but as we were mentioning this storm is looking a lot like the storm that we just had that way that started in edmond and then moved up to the northeast there where it started with circulation looked a lot like this and then it started to tighten up. So it, here's the storm track right now. All right. Norman 552, Franklin 605, Lake Thunderbird 611, Little Axe at 615, Stella at 620, and Pink at 626. So this new tornado warning moves a little bit more right. Okay. And just like we had before, the first tornado warning went up this way. This new tornado warning is starting to take more of a right hand turn. What that means is that this storm will likely strengthen. It's exactly what happened with the storm that started in Edmond. We started to see these warnings start going a little bit more to the right here, a little bit more due east, and that is when these storms begin to strengthen. That is when they tighten, and that is when the potential for them to produce a tornado begins to increase. So if you're living in Norman, anywhere in Norman, watching the storm very closely, and you need to make sure that you're beginning to go into your storm shelters if you haven't done so already again the velocity within this we're getting multiple areas of circulation it looks like the hail within this is very large we're getting now it looks like ping pong ball size hail so when we say that we're talking about one and a half inch size hail that will do a lot of damage that is currently occurring right now at the max westheimer airport that is in norman 
All right, that is going to be just east of that strip mall where they have a Target and a Super Target there. And again, that is going to be in that, that area that is right along I-35. We're also getting nickel-sized hail that was being reported right there in the town of Luther. So again, that is going to be up in uh, Lincoln County, or in eastern parts of Oklahoma County. But still, nonetheless, however, I'm sorry, Lincoln County. But still, nonetheless, uh, we continue... Uh, uh, Oklahoma County there. We continue to watch uh, these two storms, uh, very dangerous storms right now, that are uh, showing signs of circulation. All right, Rusty there. Is that going to be uh, you look at, at the northern storm, Damon? I, I think we just need to keep a look, an eye on that one, because that's headed towards Cushing. Let's go to Doppler 3D, yeah. guys. Uh, go to Doppler 3D. That storm, the rotation has weakened a touch, Yeah. Uh, right but this is still a dangerous scenario, right? towards Highway 18, towards Cushing. And Cushing is a relatively populated area, it is. and it's known for its oil and gas. Absolutely, absolutely. And, of course, we've uh, we've been impacted enough with oil uh, and, and the prices there, so we're, we're watching this storm very closely. But, again, uh, the history from this storm, Cushing, you've been watching this very closely. I, I know you have. Uh, you know that this storm certainly has done quite a bit of damage just southwest of you, and uh, we're going to continue to watch this. But if I'm living in Cushing, Go to your storm shelter immediately. Again, this storm has had a history of producing a very large tornado, wedge tornado. It did a substantial amount of damage as it moved through the town of Kearney there, and we're still watching it very closely. It appears that this storm uh, looks like it may not be nearly as rain-wrapped as before, but it looks like right now just north of Cushing, the rain is coming in, The uh, even getting some hail coming in right now. And again, we continue to watch this right now. Uh, for those of us that are living in Cushing. So still have two tornado warnings right now. This new tornado warning that was just issued on this Norman storm does not put the town of Moore into play, but close enough that you need to be watching it very closely. So this is going to be, here's Cushing. Actually, Rusty, go back real quick. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll, okay, here we have this storm right here. Uh, and again, this is going to be more of this new tornado warning south of Moore, just around Norman. This new tornado warning, as I'm looking at my data right now, uh, we are still, uh, looks like this new tornado warning does not include more, but it stops just south of Moore. So this new tornado warning is now stopping just south of Moore, but it does include uh, southern Cleveland County. It does include Hall Park. It does include Norman, and it does include basically anyone that, if you're living south, if you're driving through more on I-35, uh, this is going to be just south of uh, just south of the more community area, the more uh, commercial area, with all those shops that are right on the side of the highway there. All right, so here we are now. This is looking into Norman. There's going to be a radar site right here. Looks like the storm moving right into Norman. And uh, as we get closer to the radar here, which the storm is doing, it looks like uh, our velocity begins to get a little bit more chopped up. But still, nonetheless, I still see circulation right now just north of downtown Norman. This is going to be now east of I-35. We have plenty of it there, and it looks like... Uh, yeah, let's see here. We also continue to see uh, another area of circulation now just south of Norman. Rusty, I am pinging many areas of circulation right now. Yeah, it's and, super broad, Damon. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, even TLX, the Twin Lakes radar, is not even picking up mid-level rotation. You're looking at Doppler HD from the station. This is our live radar. You can see a lot of wind going through Norman across Indian Hills Road right now. Those are those bright greens that you see, all right? That's that's actually air getting rushed into the storm. So those are that's winds coming from the south to the north. But as far as the circulation area, which would be behind that, which would be around I-35 and just west, there's nothing that's very uh, tight right now, Damon. And, it, and it's been that way ever since they issued tor the tornado warning. I mean, I can see why they issued the tornado warning, uh, because the atmosphere is so conducive to severe weather. The instability is so high today, it would not take long for this storm to wrap up and produce a tornado. So again, I hope everyone has heeded our words and that they're in their safe areas, even in southern sides of more towards Norman and then the east, uh, the communities east of Norman at the present time. And at one point, and of course we were seeing a wall cloud that was coming in from Jimmy Taylor's uh, fast video shot there, which was certainly enough for anyone and any meteorologist to, to pull the uh, tornado warning siren here and, and, and put that trigger on the storm for this right here. So this is still having circulation, not nearly as tight as what we had before. But again, uh, we're still watching this in the early stages of the storm. And we are picking up mid-level rotation. It's going to be Highway 77, so this is going to be south of Norman here. This is going to be uh, downtown right there. And again, you can see this is actually going to be, I'm sorry, this is going to be, uh, let's see here, I-35 right here. This is going to be the river as we're crossing right over there. 
Kim Passoff, we have you live right now. You have been on the northern storm as it was moving into Lincoln County there near the town of Kearney. Uh, what kind of damage are you seeing with the storm? Uh, Damon, this is just incredible damage here. I just spoke with a family that was living in this house, an 86-year-old woman named Isla Clark. Her and her whole family survived. They were down in a tornado shelter, which is just below that awning right there. You can see that they're all okay. They're all outside right now. But over here, take a look at that concrete slab. That used to be their barn. There is no structure left. She had to explain it to me that there used to be a barn standing here. Obviously, the home is destroyed. You can see that the roof has been taken out. If you pan over here, you can see that a neighbor's home also destroyed. So we know that this was a very large tornado because you can see how far away the two homes are from each other. And take a look over here. You can see that there is a power pole that is gone, absolutely gone. Um, I was told, Billy, if we can pan this way a little bit, see this uh, piece of uh, wood right here. That used to be part of the barn is what the homeowners told me. Uh, you can see that it's just been ripped apart. So it's here right now. You can see it's got big nails outside of it, and it started all the way down there. Obviously a very, very powerful tornado. But the good news here, everyone is okay. They were in their storm shelters. They did hear the warning, and they are okay. Damon, back to you. Kim, so glad to hear that, uh, you know, the people are okay there. And, of course, uh, that was just a substantial storm, and we continue to watch that storm now moving into southeastern Payne County, eventually moving into Creek County. We still have this tornado warning for Norman. And again, it uh, sounds like you know the sirens certainly are going off down in Cleveland County, which they rightfully should be going off right now. This is hail coming in from Norman. You can see comparison there. That is golf ball size hail that's coming into Norman right there. So that is certainly hail large enough to do some damage. And again, that is coming in from Norman. We were getting reports of golf ball size hail as it was coming right on through uh, the storm there, especially on I-35 and Indian Hills Road. Jimmy, we have you live on the phone right now. Have you noticed that storm at all tighten up with this rotation? Right now, we, we are like 24th Avenue Southeast and Highway 9 headed east. Right now, it is the rotation and everything is just to the north of us from here. It's still, it cycles up a little bit, then it just, and then it dissipates a little bit, then it's just going through its cycling system right now. The other problem that we're having is just to be able to see a good spot because there's so many buildings and trees with the, with OU and everything else like that to get a clean shot of it. I can't hear We're trying, we're, we're going to try to move around a little bit more to the east so you can see it. But right now, like I said, we're at Highway 9 and Southeast 24th Avenue. Looking back to the north, and we can still see the wall cloud. You still see the little bit of rotation. It wasn't as bad as it was a minute ago, but it looks like it's going to cycle back up. Okay, well, we're going to keep watching this storm as it is heading east. All right, we're going to keep watching this storm as it's heading east. Looks like we're likely getting some hail right now. This is going to be Sunny Lane Road. So we're now, which turns into Porter Avenue as it moves out of Moore into Norman there, North Porter Avenue. There is going to be, this is where the hail is going to be right here. We're using the purple shading. So this is going to be right along Southeast 119th Street here. Here's Indian Hills Road. All right. We're going to talk about, it looks like this right here is going to be Sooner Road. This going to be Southeast 119th Street. So we have hail right there. Rusty, go up the line a little bit so we can see where this hail is here. Uh, if we can see here, we can go up a little bit there, and we're going to pull the radar up just a little bit. Looks like some large hail right around Moore, I-240, Shields Boulevard. So large hail embedded. That's where the, the pink shading is right there. Some large hail right here, right along Post Road. And then you can see it looks like this on the southern edge of the storm here. That is where that circulation is going to be that we can. continue to watch very closely meteorologist danielle dozier you're live right now tell us exactly where you are and what it is that you're seeing hey david yes we are actually in eastern lincoln county and we're watching the storm that's just here cushing we're actually approaching the town of stroud came from kendrick and uh, we were looking up to the north storm quite a bit of lowering coming down out of the sky however we haven't physically seen anything in person uh, touching the ground yet but again we have Numerous lowering as we do approach the Shroud area, but we're continuing to track in this storm that does have. All right, Danielle, and of course the cell coverage out there does come in a little, uh, a little sketchy. Uh, nonetheless, we we continue to watch these two storms, and so far, that's really what we have going on across the state right now. Uh, we have two tornado warnings. And then we do have some tornado warnings that are actually up and towards Kansas, moving up to the northeast. A lot of the activity has been concentrated either in Lincoln County or has been con has been concentrated 
in southern Cleveland County right now. And once again, we still have these two tornado warnings and the storm that is still right over southern parts of Cleveland County here. All right, here's Will Rogers World Airport in Cleveland County. Here's going to be the tornado warning. Uh, this is going to be, we're going to pick up areas of, of rotation embedded within this, but we're also going to see quite a bit of hail. And you can see our radar product right now is certainly picking up on some very large hail. It looks like this is going to be right along I-240 as you make way basically from airport, of Real Roger, Will Rogers World Airport to Tinker Air Force Base here, and then to the east and eastern parts of, um, eastern parts of, um, uh, of Oklahoma County there. Looking at the latest information right now, they have canceled the tornado warning for McLean, all right? So they've, they've removed that as the storm is now moving mainly in the Cleveland County there. So McLean County, you are now in the, uh, you're now just fine for now with this storm system here that's moving through. But once again, we continue this tornado warning for Cleveland County. And right now it looks like it is staying south. Uh, the circulation there is still staying south of more, but still awfully close. That more, we're still watching it pretty closely for you there. Also getting some very large hail. A lot of the hail is going to be uh, scattered within the storm here, but it looks like the, the potential that we can see hail sizes up to as large as tennis balls is certainly there. Chris Lee, we have you live right now. Where are you and what are you seeing? All right, so uh, once again, we'll we'll, uh, we'll work on that. Looks like uh, we're still seeing, um, just real quick there, Rusty, looking in the Lincoln County, looks like another storm has developed south uh, southwest there, and it looks like that might be having some large hail as well right in within Lincoln. All right, Brad Souter, what do you have? Hey, uh, Damon, we have Jeremy Carter. That's your small box you have right now up in towards Drumright, Oklahoma. That is the same storm that produced the supercell, the violent tornado we saw in Kearney earlier. Uh, the, he did, we just lost his stream, but he was saying right now there's not a tornado on the ground with that storm. And of course, it is still a uh, tornado warned at the moment, Damon. Okay, yeah. So we don't, yeah, we, we don't want to put our guard down whatsoever with these storms. And even if they uh, they don't look nearly as uh, dynamic as what we had about 30, 45 minutes ago, they're still very dangerous, and there's certainly quite a bit of uh, of rotation within these storms. Uh, still getting reports of, of hail, especially now coming down in Lincoln County, just west of Lincoln. And then it looks like uh, the uh, tornado warning. We continue this tornado warning, and this is going to be still now. It looks like just east of Norman, if I uh, if I do believe here, and it looks like uh, the velocity is certainly going to be uh, kind of all over the place within this. But go ahead and take your uh, take your tornado precautions if you are living in within this cone right here. So Franklin at 608, Lake Thunderbird at 614, Little Axe at 620, Stella 625, Pink 633, New Walla 637, and McLeod at 648. The history with this storm so far is that it has produced some lowerings, it has produced wall cloud, but we have not had a tornado yet on the ground with this storm. But the environment that the storm is now moving into, as it is now east of I-35, is one that, just like the last tornado, is certainly increased in strength as it moved east of I-35. So we continue to watch this very closely, all right? So here's going to be more. It looks like we have some hail that's falling right down I-35 here. So this could be Broadway. Broadway takes you into Moore. This is going to be Southeast 19th Street, some large hail right over the town of Moore there, especially right over the downtown area that we have here. So this is going to be right here, the Warren Theater. This is going to be, I believe there's going to be a, a Toby Keith Boulevard, also known as Eastern, that runs right on through Moore there. It looks like some hail. This is going to be be Southeast 4th Street. Here are the train tracks, all right? There'll be a Walmart right here, and there's going to be uh, some large hail that's falling right over those train tracks right along Southeast 4th Street. This is going to be a commercial development area where we have the Warren Theater, and then we do have the Lowe's uh, Home Improvement Store right there. So large hail falling right here, being picked in, depicted right now on our radar, and it looks like Sunny Lane Road here, Southeast 19th Street, both two very busy streets on a Sunday afternoon, and more. You you can see we certainly do have some large hail being depicted right now from our radar as this storm is now at least the hail portion of the storm is moving through more and once again it looks like the hail is going to be scattered within this storm uh, it looks like we're now going to be having a tornado warning uh, it looks like tinker air force base has issued their own tornado warning all right so tinker air force base uh, has issued their own tornado warning uh, so if you're living in Tinker Air Force Base right now, uh, you're probably going to be hearing the sirens going off. Uh, your own weather forecasting staff there on base has issued a tornado warning there. 
All right, so here's Tinker Air Force Base right here. And again, you can see the circulation is within there. And then you can see some mid-level circulation being uh, depicted right now just west of, uh, looks like downtown Norman there, the Highway 77, the uh, Max uh, the airport right there, Norman Airport, is going to be there, and uh, you can see the circulation be depicted right within that area. Looking at that velocity field, it certainly is rather messy. That does happen a lot of times as we get close to the radar as these storms move right on through. Uh, but once again, we still continue this Doppler radar indicated tornado warning. Uh, let's see here. This is going to uh, be mainly for, it looks like, I I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line here from around Norman, uh, south of Moore, and then as you make way, in the eastern parts of Cleveland County. Rusty, I know you've been looking at the velocity say, data hey, very Patrick, closely. Can I say it? Uh, we'll, uh, let's see here. Uh, Rusty, we've been watching. Uh, okay, well, uh, Rusty, you have an F5. There, well, there's, there's talk of a possible brief tornado that actually touched down in Norman. We're trying to get something more confirmed than that. Uh, that is going to be uh, to the east of I-35 around Alameda and 36, Damon. But as you look at the velocity, it's very muddied right now. Yeah, is. This is not the classic supercell that we saw up in northern Oklahoma County. Uh, I've been you know, really perusing this. I do see a little bit more wind in that area, but it's not as if it is very tightly packed. It is not as if the winds themselves are very strong. I mean, you know, 50, 60 mile an hour winds, severe thunderstorm type winds, but not, not tornado winds at least from from what i'm depicting the bottom line though is there is a tornado warning in this area yes, and what you're looking at right now i know a lot of times you're used to seeing a radar image where you see reds and yellows and oranges this right here is actually the velocity this is sampling the winds that we can see within the storm here and what's happening is that you see we have a lot of green and a lot of red just scattered around the area and we are depicting right now with our radar winds the range of 30 miles per hour and again sometimes you can see little spit ups within this jimmy we have you live right now you are in norman what are you seeing right now we are uh headed east down for fish hang left hang a left on 48th street and go back to the north ohp was reporting of a tornado down between 36 and 48th on alameda we're just in the wrong position to see it because there's a little bit of rain in between us and it so we're going to make a left right up here at uh, 48th Street. You'll see it here in my stream in a second. And we'll be headed directly towards that direction. From what we can see, the, the one wild side we did have, it lost the circulation and went back up for a little bit. And I have not seen it come back down yet. Okay. Uh, one thing that I am going to have to watch pretty closely on the storm here is what happens as the storm continues to move in the eastern parts of Cleveland County. It appears that it may be trying to form and get, maybe get a little bit tighter up with the rotation of just looking at the overall radar picture right now is that it may be trying to do something again right now it looks like uh, we continue to have little the potential for some spin-ups are there but once again this is moving into a more favorable environment where again we're going to have to uh, have to watch it pretty closely uh, especially as it moves uh, closer to locations like Lake Thunderbird and again in the eastern parts of Cleveland County so the tornado warning continues for Cleveland County, again, just east of Norman. Rusty, what do you have? If we can go to Doppler uh, 3D real quick, guys, uh, Doppler okay. 3D, there is a new thunderstorm that has developed in Lincoln County. Uh, this is over the same area. This is right over the Kearney area, but you notice that this appendage is dropping down a little bit more. I am picking up some rotation with this storm right along 177. This one is a lot closer to Wellston, okay, and the Chandler areas, so this bears watching. Uh, at this point in time, uh, there is a severe Fun, no, there's not. There's not even a severe thunderstorm watch uh, warning with it, excuse me. Uh, but this one bears watching, Damon. Uh, it will be interesting to see whether the last tornado raked the atmosphere and this one can't develop. But it is a little bit further off to the south. The Turner Turnpike would be in play with this. Same thing with the Chandler area. So right now, if you live in those areas I just mentioned, put yourself on guard. I'm going to keep a close eye on that. But as you can see, Damon, there's, there's starting to be at least some mid-level rotation picking up within that storm. The other thing is it's out all by itself. All right? Uh, this, is a, this is a supercell that's developing. And without there being another storm to kind of choke off the inflow, this one could be the next rapidly developing storm. Again, that's in northern Lincoln County. Uh, we're getting some reports right now of a tornado on the northwest side of Lake Thunderbird. Uh, this is coming in from a spotter there. It looks like uh, coming a tornado on the ground. Uh, looks like that would be coming in off of uh, 36 
and Rock Creek Road. I'll be on the northwest side of Lake Thunderbird right now. So all of these storms that we still have are showing a good amount of rotation. Yeah, I'm starting to see, as we were mentioning, as the storm moved in the eastern parts of Cleveland County, what was going to happen with it. It looks like uh, it, it is showing signs that we do have a new tornado warning that, that just came out. If we can go over to Advantage Doppler HD, Advantage Doppler HD, here we go, all right? This is where the location of the tornado would be, all right? Here's Lake Thunderbird, all right? Indian Hills Road, large hail falling just north of Indian Hills Road. But this is going to be that storm now begin to tighten up, and we just have a brand new tornado warning that just came down here. Uh, if I go ahead and I'm just going to read this right here, it looks like this is going to be in effect until 645. So this is now northeastern Cleveland County. It's going to be northwestern Pottawatomie County. We're talking about those from Stella, Pink, Dale, Lake Thunderbird, and Bethel Acres. You are all now included in this new tornado warning. It looks like this is now a confirmed tornado over Lake Thunderbird, moving to the east at 30 miles per hour. Uh, Rusty... Uh, Switch on over to Vance. Yeah, I, will, I was looking to say, if we uh, go on, well, I can do it from here, guys. I, I'm Just starting to pick right up there. a good amount of rotation now within uh, within this right here. I mean, right here. You can see that is beginning to now tighten up. What is that? That is that our new tornado debris signature? I, I've seen a lot of things on radar before, and I've never seen that before. I, honestly, uh, Damon, neither have I, to be quite honest. It's a TDS, guys, tornadic debris. Okay, that's going to be, okay, they, it looks like our radar product here has just upgraded its icon list there. So this is now a... TVS or t t uh, looks like uh, well we have we have dual pole uh, available to us from Vance which is why which is why we would be getting that uh, okay. icon but but Damon it does look a lot more impressive a bounded weak echo region uh, on Indian Hills Road just west of 108th uh, so this does look a lot more impressive now we're shooting higher into the to the storm with a radar this far away uh, but obviously this is why they issued the tornado warning go over to velocity on terminal at uh, T O K C. And I'd like to see how this, because this is going to be in the perfect area uh, where we're going to get some impressive velocity. But, yeah, this is going to be a tornado warning now just northwest of Lake Thunderbird right here. So anyone that is now living right along, let's see, 108th Avenue Northeast, South Choctaw Road, this tornado warning is going to be moving right in your direction. This is going to be State Highway 9. All right, this is what takes you out of Norman. And you can see right here, that is going to be a very impressive, impressive storm right there. Let's go over to Doppler 3D as we can probably uh, – uh, pick up this uh, this rotation very clearly here. It uh, looks like we're getting some uh, some some issues right now uh, within this, but you can see uh, right here. It looks like the velocity and even the reflectivity is well, very. Well, I mean, well, look up. at the reflectivity right here. Yeah, that's, right here. that's from the terminal radar. That's terminal right there. How's the velocity look on that? I mean, you can see here's a lake well, right here. It's not as impressive because I think it's cutting through the the, the, the meat of the storm, Damon. Uh, but I, I think I think obviously this is a very classic signature wrapping up. Uh, this is like you said, the northern sides of Lake Thunderbird, uh, headed towards Stella. Yeah, Damon, I, I, I want to interject here uh, more on Advantage Doppler HD about that TDS and what folks are seeing there. Uh, this is brand new to Oklahoma this year, actually taking radar and sampling possible debris, debris signature. Radar often looks at the rain, the hail. We're able to see that clearly. But when radar says, what in the world is that? It's sampling bigger meteorological elements in the form of possible debris. So that is that uh, odd-looking spin that you see there, possible debris with that storm that is over Lake Thunderbird, Damon. Okay, and again, if you uh, you live east of Norman there, of course, you know, even that terrain, you see more trees once you get east of I-35. So what happens is the radar has an logarithm, and it can detect whether it's looking at either debris or if it's looking at circulation within that and it's uh, and, and even rain or hail. So we can now sample inside the storm. And again, that's probably depicting Damon. what appears to be uh, trees right now. Rusty, uh, go over to Advantage. Let's go over to Advantage Doppler uh, 3D right here. Storm track on here. Here is going to be Lake Thunderbird, Denver. You can see as we get really close in here on our high resolution mapping here, this is going to be the tornado right here. This is going to be the lake, all right? Little Axe, and you can see Highway 9 as it bends up right through there. So the tornado is right here. Here's a community of Denver right along the lake, and you can see it looks like the tornado is going to be now getting ready to cross right over Lake Thunderbird here. Large hail more than likely falling right around Stella, and it uh, looks like uh, there's definitely going to be 
Uh, certainly, oh, I mean, uh, you can uh, see it from the terminal yeah. radar, clear as day, Absolutely. David. Absolutely. That's going right over the northern sides of Lake Thunderbird as we speak. And I believe we have a new tornado. Uh, looks like uh, we might be having another tornado warning, by the way, coming it's, out again. It's that same one I just showed you in Lincoln yeah. County. This would be Turner Turnpike Chandler. You need to be aware of this if they issue a tornado warning. I, I tell you what, we're more than likely probably going to have, uh, yeah, Lincoln County, again, your second tornado warning coming up. Uh, we're going to have to watch this one pretty closely, but yeah, we continue to see this. This is definitely down in, in Norman. Uh, now, Eastern Norman, I should be saying, Norman, you're, you're in an improving condition now, but as you can see right here, right over Lake Thunderbird, Bethel Acres, if you're living in Bethel Acres right now, 644, this tornadic storm will be moving right into you. Shawnee, at 701, we got some reports coming in from Norman right now that the uh, Norman police do not have any reports as of damage reports as the storm moved on through. Of course, it looks a lot more impressive now well, look, than Damon, it did as it moved into Norman. Damon, uh, they're reporting a debris ball with the Lake Thunderbird tornado. I believe uh, it. Yeah. So uh, the bottom line is this thing has ripped up something as it's developed uh, across the Lake Thunderbird right now. Dangerous situation. Stella Pink Bethel Acres. You guys got to get in your safe areas right now. This is this is a very dangerous storm. Yeah, uh, we're getting a uh, debris ball in the, uh, being depicted with our radar here. Jimmy, you are live now. Where are you and what are you seeing right now? We are at 84th Avenue Southeast headed northbound towards Alameda Drive. We are just west of Lake Thunderbird. And I can tell you, the sky, to, the, to the west of me, to the east of me, the sky is real dark. I really can't see anything just yet because of I'm blocked by trees around the lake here. So we're trying to find a clear viewing area right now, and we're coming up on Alameda Drive as we speak. There's some tree branches down on the ground as we go by, and trash cans blown over. But that is about it that I can see for right now. Yeah, and, and I've seen it, all right? So there is certainly a tornado right there moving right over the lake. It's probably going to have more of a white color. It's what happens when these tornadoes move over water there. It's probably going to look more white but then it will probably darken as it moves now back on land. So this tornado, here it is right here, and you see that pink shading right there? That very well may be some debris within the storm, and that's what that pink shading is right there. So we are likely getting debris being picked up within this tornado right here. The velocity has really, really improved. The amount of circulation has really improved as this storm moved east of Norman and is now over Lake Thunderbird. And again, if you're living anywhere from in uh, Pottawatomie County, if you're living anywhere from Shawnee, Bethel Acres, Pink, right along Highway 9 and north, and we're, uh, yeah, right along Highway 9 and north there, then you certainly need to make sure that you are going into your tornado shelters. Again, download the KOCO Tornado app. You can watch our coverage streaming live on your television right there. But you can see that storm really wrapping up right here. So this storm, as again, is now moving east of uh, Lake Thunderbird there. It's really starting to improve and uh, really starting to increase and intensity uh, with the storm again as it's getting into a more favorable environment. As we've been saying throughout the afternoon, uh, this has been uh, an area, especially east of I-35, where the amount of rotation was greater. The instability was plenty high. That once storms moved in this area, basically east of I-35 and up along the Turner Turnpike, that we were really going to be concerned with the threat for tornadoes. And you can see that right here with this storm. So I plenty of rain and, and some uh, heavy rain falling over more right now, but more you are in the clear right now with this tornado warning. So looks like now we have three tornado warnings, three separate tornado warnings in the state right now. We have eastern Cleveland County. We have northeastern Lincoln County now, north of the Turner Turnpike, and then we also have Creek County. These storms basically moving to the east, northeast at a direction of about 30 miles per hour. So here, you can see right here, this is our uh, tornado warning here and tornado warning right here. This tornado warning in effect until 645, or this right here in effect until 645, and it looks like right now... Uh, yeah, these storms are certainly getting stronger. I'm starting to pick that up on our radar right here. So Lincoln, Lincoln County, you have a tornado warning just north of Chandler. Naveen Dollywall, we have you live on the air right now. Uh, tell us where you are and what you're seeing. 
Hey there, Damon. I'm in the Thornbrook neighborhood of Edmond. This is just northeast of 33rd and Bryant. This home is the worst we've ever seen so far. We're on Kensington Street. And as you can see, that roof is just partially gone. It's actually in the neighbor's pool. You can't see it's not so bad from the front, but it's pretty significant from the, from the back. The homeowner is okay. She tells us that she was safe inside the house. She was actually looking or uh, at your report there, Damon. So thank you for that. Now, she did tell us that that is an addict, but she's not able to stay here tonight. We did see some other homes. They're lost partial, uh, some shingles. There's a lot of debris around. But again, we're trying to survey this damage as we go around this neighborhood. Back to you, Damon. All right. Yeah. So uh, that is some damage in Edmond from tornado warning number one. All right. This is the third tornado warning that we have now. Carney impacted by our first tornado and some substantial damage there, significant damage. But this tornado warning puts Parkland in the past at 627, Avery 641, South Village 656, Shamrock 703, and Drumright at 708. This right here, I do believe that was our first tornado warning, which may have uh, weakened considerably there. Brad Satter, go ahead. Off the phone with Jeremy Carter. He is in position on this storm. He says right now he has a wall cloud. He has a lowering here on this storm south of Kearney now that we have the new tornado warning on. But at this point, there is not a tornado. Damon. Good to hear. Good to hear. And of course, we are now in the in the, in the uh, age of technology where we have about a 13 minute lead time on tornado warnings. We had an excellent lead time with tornado warning number one. All right. And so usually about 13 minutes from when the when the uh, warning goes out to when we expect at least a tornado to go on the ground there. So we certainly had some great lead time. This right here, we're, we're sampling right here. And because we are so close to the, the radar site, just by a couple miles, the radar signature here in the image will certainly get garbled up a little bit, but we're still depicting quite a bit of circulation. It looks like it is going to be uh, northwest of pink here. Looking at velocity, it's going to be north of Highway 9, northwest of pink, and it uh, looks like it is going to be now east of Lake Thunderbird. So east of Lake Thunderbird at this track right here. Bethel Acres, you are within the path of this at 639, Shawnee 654, Johnson at 710 for this right here. And the tornado, you can see it right there getting wrapped in, and you can see that it's certainly going to be a very impressive hook echo. So once again, we continue this tornado warning until 645. This is a confirmed tornado right now near Stella and this tornado. So this is this storm right here moving to the east at 35 miles per hour. Danielle Dozier, we have you live on the phone right now. Where are you and what are y'all seeing? All right, we'll get Danielle back on the phone momentarily here. But yeah, we're looking right here and that is going to be right there. Tornado matches right up. The reflectivity matches right up with the velocity right here. And that is clearly where the tornado is going to be just south of Stella. Here's a community of Stella here. And again, we are looking right here for that tornado. And again, when you see that right there, you can see that the uh, the velocity and then the reflectivity images are pairing up perfectly. Danielle, we have you on the phone now. Is she available? Yes, David. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead and go. Okay. We are in the town of Kendrick right now. And we are on this storm that just went tornado warn. You're coming up and you're seeing our stream and as we get past this hill, you'll see the lowering there. Do you see the lowering? Yeah. We're watching it very closely. We are going to stop here right now on the side of this road so we can get everyone at home a better view of what we're seeing here. Again, we are in the town of Kendrick watching this storm and Chris Lee is here with me and we're two miles to the east of Kendrick which is just north and west of Stroud. Northwest of Stroud, two miles east of Kendrick watching